Hey guys, Dr. Tice MD here today for today's yogi medicine session. And today we're going to talk about germ theory and how it's false, uh, how acute diseases are actually healthy, how fever is good, fever is your friend, it is your ally, and how the suppression of acute diseases creates chronic diseases. So that's a lot. Let's unpack that. Uh, first of all, thanks for stopping by. Those of you guys, guys who have been here before, thank you so much. Um, my name is Dr. Adam Tice. I am a licensed naturopathic doctor, and I help people restore their health. People with complex chronic diseases, I help people restore their health, reverse those diseases using 100% natural medicines and the methods of nature cure. And that's kind of going to be the arena of our conversation today. I want to talk about a little bit about chronic disease and that's uh, what a, a lot of people are familiar with that. And then acute diseases, colds, flus, fevers, inflammatory things, things like this. And I want to tie those together and I want to, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of information, misinformation, disinformation, just pure like too much information out there. So sometimes it gets a little hard to sort that apart and, and decide what's real or not real, true, not true, this kind of thing, or what actually works. And so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today is what actually works. Again, I'm actually uh, working one-on-one -on -one with people out in the clinic, doing this, applying these methods, and, um, and they actually work. And nothing that I share with you today, I made up. <laughs> um, this is tried, true methods. And I'm actually going to be sharing some excerpts from um, one um, primary piece uh, of reference uh, uh, from the Nature Cure literature selection. This is Henry Linlar's philosophy and practice based on the unity of disease and cure. It's a Nature Cure book. Okay. So uh, first of all, chronic diseases. We're going to start with chronic disease. Then we're going to talk about acute diseases. And then we're going to loop back around and we're going to tie it together. And I'm going to tie this up for you. So chronic diseases, there's three primary causes of chronic diseases. Lowered vitality, abnormal composition of the blood and the lymph, and accumulation of waste material, morbid matter, poison, toxins, toxicants in the body. Okay. That is the real cause of chronic disease. If those things, and, and, and these things, um, as the human organism, as the human system goes through life, there are stressors, there are challenges, there are the world we're living in is, uh, is hard out there sometimes. And there's, it's, you know, you want to be healthy and do the best that you can to do. So, um, again, I've talked in some of my other uh, presentations, talks, uh, specifically, there's a webinar on my website. I'll put a link below, but I talk about some of the principles in nature care and I go in a little bit more detail. Um, you can see that. That's a separate discussion uh, about the principles of nature care. But the three primary causes of disease, lowered vitality, abnormal composition of the blood and the lymph, and uh, accumulation of waste materials in the body. These are the primary causes of disease. So we have anytime there's a chronic disease or some imbalance in the health, we have to address that first. Otherwise you get stuck in this for that syndrome, which is just taking this for that. Even in the natural world, we see this This is a trap. This is a, one of the biggest mistakes that people make. Instead of addressing the main thing, what needs to be addressed, lowered vitality, abnormal composition of the blood and lymph, and accumulation of waste material, People get stuck in this for that mental setup, taking things, um, you know, for headaches or for knee pain or for inflammation or this for that. Even if it's, you know, pharmaceuticals aside, that's one thing. That's just putting more poison into the body. The body, more poison is not going to heal the body. That's not why there's a chronic disease because you have a pharmaceutical 
deficiency. That's not what's going on. It's because there's lower vitality, issues with the blood and lymph, accumulation, toxicities. So we need to do things that are going to actually address and get at that root. Now, what happens is what the body actually does is it, it, it does this for us and it will actually from time to time um, mount an immune response and kids do this really well and as people go through their life um, that changes but the body will actually do the job for you if it's given proper diet lifestyle natural lifestyle nourishment nutrition vitamins minerals it has all the players on board so that the immune system can function in all of its um, supreme intelligence it knows what it's doing so the body will attempt to clean house every now and then and so that will try to throw off a morbid matter in an attempt to uh, you know the vitality is, is boosted it's trying to clean the body out so that we can clean up the blood clean the lymph detoxify these kinds of things and so what that actually looks like sometimes is an inflammatory process is there may be fevers um, there may be these kinds of things that happen and those are good things you don't want to slam the door on that process and shut that process down because that's your body's way of, of, of helping you it's your immune system it's actually working that's what the fever is it's the mounted immune response it's a white blood cells it's all of those 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 uh, immune uh, those immediate innate uh, or, or entry-level immune system and then later the the memory will kick in but that's what happens so there becomes there, there comes a fever in the system now this is where we've got where we kind of went sideways is really with the whole with, with germ theory and so germ theory is it says germs cause disease germs cause disease and germs cause infectious disease and there's whole big fields of medicine infectious disease specialists and and and, and, and massive massive um, part of the dominant school of medicine is this chasing the bug kind of uh, it's it's I call it this the terrorist mental setup really and it's just applying that to medicine it's go find the bad guy the bad guy is doing it's, it's he's messing everything up and wipe the bad guy out and then health will restore but in, in reality that's not what we see and we have uh, about a hundred years of of this you know since antibiotics to kind of see so really what's going on is every acute disease is the result of a cleansing and a healing effort of nature let's say that again every acute disease is the result of a cleansing and healing effort of nature so that means that nature has a wisdom, has an intelligence, and it's trying to help you. It's trying to heal the body. So part of what uh, another kind of um, sort of desired effect here, or goal that I have is to start to dial this in and take the guesswork out of it and, and, and really bring the exactness that the nature cure philosophy has and I've seen this in practice and other people who taught me about it have seen it in practice for a long time and these things work it's just not all the way mainstream yet so this is um, still but there, there's nothing new this is not new this is actually hundreds thousands of years old so with acute disease there is uh, Modern medical science is really built upon the germ theory, disease, and treatment. And it's been assumed that bacteria are the direct primary causes of disease. And what I'm saying is that's not true. So the, the, the mantra for the, the world of medicine, again, has been kill the bacteria 
by essentially whatever means necessary, however forceful the means necessary, uh, and you'll cure the disease. <laughs> well, sometimes you actually um, you kill the person in the process, and then that's a different story because of such heroic, uh, toxic measures. But that's the thing, germ theory. So it's like if we kill the bacteria, we should cure the disease, right? But that's not what we actually see. So you can kind of think about this. Nature cure, the philosophy of nature cure takes a little bit of a different approach to this and has a little bit different understanding. And the different view here is, and you don't have to take my word for this, just you, you, I'll give you some examples here and you can kind of think in your in, in your day-to-day -day life and in your life how you've seen this happen. And then that's kind of part of the deal is to use, to dial into your real life experience, uh, what you've seen in your real life and start to connect those dots and get that inner experience and, and, and believe and trust and know what you see in your reality and, and, and know that when sometimes people tell us things or spoon feed us pieces of information, that may not be all the way true. I want you to really dig in and see and uncover this truth for yourself because at the end of the day, I'm not, it's not my goal to convince you of anything. I don't want to do that. I know I, I, it's impossible. I know I cannot do that. I want you to come to just like I had to do, just like everyone has to do, we have to come to these conclusions on our own and, and, and this is, is the best way that this happens. That way it really, it, it really sticks. So Nature Cure takes a different approach to the problem. It says germs cannot be the causes of disease because disease germs are also in healthy bodies. They're also in the healthy bodies. There are E. coli, billions of them, on your skin right now, in your gut, right? And what do we see on the news from time to time? E. coli outbreak, okay? And that's, sure, there can cause some gastroenteritis and some symptoms like that. But that, again, that's, that's so again, just the germ boogeyman kind of a, a, a thing that's promoted out there. Um, germs that cannot be the cause of disease because Disease germs are also found in healthy bodies. And the so the real cause must be something else.